Catalytic converter thefts aren't just on the rise in the Twin Cities. Some rural Minnesota counties have seen cases more than double since last year. Thieves take advantage of locations where vehicles are sitting unwatched for days, even weeks. John Lortzen shows us what's being done to try and stop the crimes. This is the first one that got stolen. It was two in the same night. As general manager of Metro Area Construction in Dassel, Juan Garza and his crew rely on their trucks for business. But recently... He actually left his gloves and his flashlight, so they took that for fingerprints. Those same vehicles have become a target for thieves. This truck's about $7,000 worth. It's a 2003. It's pretty old flatbed, you know, but it was 2400 $2, bucks just to get the catalytic converter back on. With three trucks hit, Garza's company has become part of a growing statistic in Meeker County. In 2019, just two catalytic converters were reported stolen. In 2020, that number jumped to 12. Just three months into this year, that number is already at 24. And Sheriff Brian Cruz believes that's low. A lot of the reports and what we've discovered as a pattern is they're looking for vehicles that have been parked for long periods of time and they're hitting those so they don't, they don't get reported right away. At country churches, businesses, and on farms, it's not just cars and trucks. In some counties, old tractors sitting idle have become a target. Sometimes for their precious metals and sometimes because they're considered antiques and have value in that regard. It happens quickly. They're using portable saws and, and portable grinders and within a couple minutes they got those things removed. According to state law, people are supposed to show ID when they sell converters to scrap metal businesses. Sheriff Cruz is also hoping lawmakers can help. A bill at the Capitol would make it illegal to possess a used catalytic converter unless you can prove ownership. And scrapyards would only be allowed to buy them from legitimate businesses like auto repair shops. But at least give us an opportunity to start backtracking. We need the public to be vigilant, and we need people to tell us, hey, there's some activity going on here we'd really like you to look at and, and get us out there. In Meeker County, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Sheriff Cruz recommends parking your vehicles inside when you can, or at least in well lit areas.